Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Sephora haul. I went shopping. It's been a long time since I actually went to Sephora and picked up a bunch of stuff that I've really been wanting to try. Before we start the video, can we just talk about this little cuteness? Oh! We adopted a new baby kitten from the animal shelter and we don't know what the name is yet, but we'll know soon. You guys tweeted me some awesome names, so I'm looking over them right now. But this is my new little baby, and I love him. Anyways, back to the makeup. We're just gonna dig right in this bag, and I'm gonna show you guys all of my goodies. Um, so yeah. But before the video gets started, I just wanted to say, be sure to follow me on all my social media before you leave. I got Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. And I've got all kinds of good stuff, okay? That way we can be connected more and we can chat more and we can be best friends forever, okay? Anyways, I'll stop blabbing and we'll get started. So, uh, yeah, if you want to see what's in the baggie, well, then just keep watching. All right, golly, what's up with the paper? Oh, something that I am pretty excited about. Okay. It's gonna be a long video. Something I'm pretty excited about is um, Hourglass came out with their Ambient Light Palette with the three different shades in it, but it, it looks like, I don't know if this is new or not, but I just saw it at the little mini section when you check out. It always gets me. I'm like, okay, I'm done shopping, I've spent enough, and then I get to that section and everything is like literally jumping in my basket on it. So I don't know how it happens, but it does. This was in that section. This is Dim Light is the name of it, and it's like a little bitty mini one. It's so pretty. So I never had the full palette and it's $60. So I always contemplating on getting it. So I got just the one shade that I really wanted and it's just the most subtle, nice daytime glow and I'm in love. So again, this is Dim Light by Hourglass. Very excited about the product. Um, I think this one was 27. No, this one was 22. It's the same size and it's a lot cheaper than $60. So. And I got the one I wanted, okay. Next product I got was a liquid lipstick as if I don't have enough liquid lipsticks, but then this color stuck out to me. I don't know if it's a new one or not. This one is by Kat Von D and I really like the shade of it. I just think it's a different type of shade of liquid lipstick that I haven't really seen before. It's light pink, but it almost has like gray. And it is a very cool toned, strange looking liquid lipstick. The only other one of these everlasting liquid lipsticks that I have is Jeffree and I'm just obsessed with it. So I thought I would give another one a try and I just picked up that little guy. The next product I got is something from Bobbi Brown. Bobbi Brown is not a big section for me to shop in. I've never been just like overly obsessed with the products from Bobbi Brown that I just had to have them. One product did stick out to me. This is one of their shimmer bricks and this one is in sunset pink and again, it was just calling my name. I mean, what are you gonna do? Whenever something's screaming your name, you're gonna go to it, so I did. It looks like this, I mean, it's pretty nice, big, fat, juicy packaging here. <gasps> Reminds me a little bit of the Laura Mercier's Pink Mosaic. I think this one has just a little bit more of browns and light shades in them. I don't know, it comes off just a little bit more of a stronger color, because whenever I swatched it all together in the store, I noticed that, and I was like, hey, I'm gonna give it a try. So I picked this up. It was um, a little pricey. I mean, it's Bobbi Brown, what do you expect? But, the, oh, well, it was 46, so it's not the end of the world because this is a really nice palette, but. Boop. Next, I got something from Makeup Forever that I've been wanting since I saw it come out. <gasps> I don't even know if I got the right shade. I just got really excited whenever I saw it and I was like, okay, mine. <laughs> so I got shade 20M and this is one of their new Pro Bronze Fusions, and the packaging just sells me on this one. I love that it's not their typical black packaging. They actually put this like bronze copper thingamabob on the top. It's so pretty. Um, also, the pattern on the bronzer is just to die for. And I also have their Pro Duos with the highlight and the bronzer, and I really like the bronzer on those, so I figured I'd like the bronzer on this. Bronzer, bronzer, bronzer. How many times can I say the word bronzer? <laughs> it looks pretty. I think 20M is gonna work for me. I just grabbed one because I was like, honestly, I just don't know, you know? Sometimes you just gotta grab one and go with it and pray for the best. Next item I picked up is from First Aid Beauty. This is their Ultra Repair Mineral Sunscreen Moisturizer. <laughs> Cream moisturizer. Don't, moisturizer with SPF. With SPF 40. You know what? Whenever I say this word SPF, everybody freaked out on me last time. They're like, it's SPF. She said SPF. Guys, we work at the derm, and we had to say SPF so much, we start, started calling it SPF. Get it? SPF? 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 Do you get it? Do you get what I'm doing? No? No? Okay. Now, this is not my everyday, like, 
the hydrant but I really like this for my face when going out into the sun. Summer's just getting started here. I know we're getting all into this back to school madness. The sun is not going anywhere in the beautiful state of California. So, still gonna have the sunscreen for our face. I really like this one because it's a mineral sunscreen so it doesn't clog the pores and it protects your skin. Whoosh. Next, I got something from Cover of X and I don't typically ever buy something like this, but I did and we're gonna see what happens. This is their Total Cover Cream Foundation in N40. Like I always buy liquid foundations. It looks light on camera, but it looks pretty dark over here, so. Hmm. I want to try something different. I mean, I have bakoodles of liquid foundations, and I just want to see what happens with this. I've heard nothing but good things from everything from Cover FX. And as far as their liquid drops, those are amazing to mix with stuff for foundation. I just really like Cover FX, so I want to explore more into that brand. And that's why I picked these up. And again, N40. We're gonna see what happens with this. I'm gonna be trying it out. You may see it in a video. If you don't, maybe I didn't like it. I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm gonna try it out. We're gonna see what happens. I mean, who knows? I may love it, huh? Okay, so the mini section up front got me again. This is the Origins Clear Improvement Act Active Charcoal Mask to Clear Pores. So <laughs> I kind of sort of may have bought this for Tyler. <laughs> he doesn't know that. <laughs> and then I kind of bought it for me too, but he has the biggest pores. And they get dirty so i always try to experiment and do things to his poor little face hello little bra trying to peep out and get a show <laughs> i try to do things to help him out with that and he he's a trooper he's like go for it he's gonna kill me if he sees this video and i'm telling you guys this charcoal mask which is supposed to be really good to help clean out those pores i mean i'm gonna use it on myself too because i have noticed some blackheads building up and they need to get the heck out of here okay next i picked up a blush from sephora which i don't know if i'm gonna keep because in sephora's lining it looked like the prettiest peach color and then i got home and it's just as pink as it can possibly be and I have nine million blushes that look just like this and so I don't think I'm gonna keep it but it's sweet on you and in the stores lighting I swear to you guys it looked like the prettiest peach blush ever and then I got home and I was like no oh I also got something I love from Marc Jacobs I love their twinkle pop shadow sticks I have one of them already and I did a tutorial with it many many moons ago like that video might be a little bit crusty but these are so cool because whenever you apply them to your eyelid, they're like cold. They're very cold. So this is a Twinkle Pop. I got it in Honey Bunny, which is the champagne pretty color. I wanted to get something like more colorful and not a neutral shade, but I swatched them all across my hand in the store and was like, which one am I gonna get today? Oh, I'm so excited. And then this one stuck out the most to me and I was like, dang it, I know I'm gonna get the neutral one. Laura, why do you always get the neutral one? Ugh. Here I am with Honey Bunny, which is like the most neutral one they have. Do I get a thumbs up for being weird? Um, these are really cool. They're just cream eyeshadow sticks, and I like using them as a base for eyeshadows, but these are so pigmented. You just swipe these all over your eyelid and use them as your eyeshadow for the day and rock and roll. What else is in the bag? Oh, I picked up a weird item, which I normally typically wouldn't buy, but I maybe it was Impulse. I don't know. But Make It Forever recently sent me one of their liners, which I had never tried before, and I loved it in plain black. So I went out on a whim and got one that is black with a little bit of sparkle to it because I really liked the one they sent me. So I was like, eh, I'll try a different one then, you know. Eh. So this one is, it just says number two. Let's see. Aqua Liner number two. So this is just number two. No funky name. They like to keep it professional over there and make it forever. It's a really cool liner. Um, the brush actually isn't that easy to create a wing with, but the consistency of the product and the formula is actually a really good liner. So that's what irked me to get another one. I do wish they had a little bit more of a longer brush to help get that flick, but this brush is a little bit short and stiff. So I'm gonna have to work with it a little bit, but I wanted to do something fun and cool and out of the norm. So I just got this little guy. Okay. And then lastly, from the little 500 perks points, they never have anything good. And I'm always just like, me, nah. Finally, I saw something that I thought would be worth my points. <laughs> this is the Bosha's, their little black mask kit. And let's see what all we get because I haven't even, oh, let's hit the kitten. He didn't even flinch. Um, let's see what came in here, you know, because I don't even know. Oh, this is the cutest thing ever. It's like a mini little black mask. And I have this one in the big size and it has lasted me forever. Amen. Also got a little pore strip. 
I'll probably use this on Ty. And I got the Detoxifying Black Cleanser. Okay, I'm going to be using this on me. I'm really excited about it. I've always wanted to use their black cleanser, and yay, it's here. So I'm going to be trying that. And then I got their Revitalizing Black Hydrant Gel. Okay, so this is like it's a moisturizing gel. And I'm going to be using this on me too because I love gel moisturizer so much. If you're having problems with your pores being clogged up and you're like, I don't know why, but I apply cream all over my face every night. That might be the culprit. Um, at the Derm Life, any acne patients we had that had dealt with oily skin and big pores, switch over to that gel moisturizer because typically they're normally water-based, whereas your cream ones are normally oil-based. So, yeah. That's just a little tip for you right there. And that's all I got. So, yeah. That was a good trip to Sephora. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for coming by and watching. Don't forget to get... <laughs> don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video and subscribe before you leave that so we don't lose me in the craziness of the YouTube world out there because there is a lot of stuff out there okay people I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video bye guys